At the FBI field office in San Francisco, there are fewer than 10 Spanish-speaking special agents. I was born and raised in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Katia Colon is one of them. She says she never imagined one day she would work for one of the most prominent law enforcement agencies in the world and that her culture would play a big part. She first joined the Bureau 20 years ago as an intelligence analyst. I was hired to work Latin America Matters initially, but 9-11 had happened in 2001. And so they um, realized that they needed more uh, uh, support. So Colon was reassigned to international terrorism. They trained me. I learned a little bit about Islam to be familiar with the culture and the religion. Learned a little bit of Arabic. Katia says she worked alongside special agents for years under this assignment, and many were women. I looked at them and I I figured, I think I can do this too, so I applied. After what she describes as a lengthy process, in 2006, Special Agent Colon moved to the Bay Area, cracking scams targeting the Latino community. Very compelling case. A lot of um, immigrants that didn't speak um, English were victims of these three individuals, and it was a wonderful um, experience to be able to use my background and my uh, Spanish language to be able to connect with these victims. The agent tells me being Latina and bilingual has been key when it comes to recruiting informants for cracking multiple cases here in the Bay Area. She credits those skills with helping her investigate one of the most notorious crime sprees now plaguing San Francisco smash and grabs. The agent says the bureau has been able to intercept attempts to sell stolen electronics thanks to her success building sources within the Hispanic community in the Mission District. Now, as Katia looks back on the last two decades of putting her life on the line. A lot of risky moments, um, moments in which I have felt very vulnerable. She shared with us the one thing that keeps her going. And the feeling that you're doing something good for the world, right? That you are putting bad, violent people behind bars and you have that purpose of making everything around you safer helps you get over that anxiety. In San Francisco, Natalie Vera, NBC Bay Area News.